welcome to our road test of our 2018 68 plate Jaguar F-Type Coupe 300R Dynamic. Now, we're going to give you a little road test, but just before we set off, I'll run through the optional spec that's on the car because there's a few bits that are on it that I'll never remember whilst I'm trying to drive. So we'll give you a quick rundown on the spec and, and what the car's about and then we'll give it a run so you can just see how it drives uh, as i said it's the 2018 it's an october 1868 but it's the two, 2019 and a half model year so it has got the upgraded facelifted front end with the uh, lights and, and so forth on it in addition to the standard spec as well it's got the 20 inch five split five split gloss black alloy wheels it's got auto high beam assist it's got the Delta aluminium center console, which is there. It's got the fixed panoramic roof, which does have a cover to come across as well, but it's got a really nice big fixed glass roof. You've got front parking sensors as well as rear parking sensors. It also has the reversing camera on it as well. So when you pack it in reverse, as well as the sensors that you've got, you also have your uh, reverse camera on it as well. You've got performance seats, so it's got the black leather and suede seats which are also upgraded to the performance seats. The rear tailgate glass is tinted for privacy um, and yeah and as I said it's got the reverse camera on it as well. It's in chorus grey metallic and the t correct technical term for the interior is the ebony suede cloth leather interior. I'll just quickly go through the service history as well before we set off because it's got a fantastic service history. The car's only done 13 and a half thousand miles now. Um, <clears throat> it was supplied by Park Jaguar in Air and the service history then follows in 2019 at 6,000 miles it was serviced, 2020 at 8, 2021 at 10, um, which was oil and filter and it was also went through a safety check and then more recently in October of last year at 13,100 miles so 400 odd miles ago it was serviced by our local Jaguar specialist called Neen Jag Specialists where it had a full service which was oil and filter, pollen filter, air filter, brake fluid, um, it was MOT'd and it had spark plugs as well. So it has an extensive full service history, all recorded on the Jaguar online service record database. So you can see all the service history for the Jaguars and the specialist as well. Um, so we'll give it a little run now and just let you see how it drives and feel how it drives. It is a supercar, it drives lovely. It's a really nice car and it looks great as well in the color. As I said, 13 and a half thousand miles, it's, it's been nowhere, it's done nothing. There we are. There we are, we're in normal auto. Paddle shift works well, as you saw then. It's a lovely smooth car. For a little stiff sports car, it's quite comfortable. It drives exactly as you would expect it to drive as well. It's not, it's as close to a brand new car as you're ever likely to see. We know the, uh, the history of the car from the previous keeper as well. He's a, a, a valued customer of ours. We've dealt with him for a lot of years. He is, I'll be honest, anal about how his cars are. He looks after them to the nth degree. No expenses ever spared on them. Um, it's a fantastic car. We've got the two keys for it. It's got both remote keys. Uh, yeah, no warning lights upon the dash. Supercar drives well. Meridian sound system in it as well. You've got all your touch screen with your navigation, climate, heated seats and so forth. Oh, I'm not sure actually. You may not have heated seats on double check that. But yeah, great car. And you'll see from the photos, phenomenal looking. With those gloss black wheels, 20 inch wheels, it looks amazing. So, loads of photos up on the website. All the spec and information on the car along with the service history is also on the site. But if there is any information you'd like on the car or our finance packages or our home delivery service, then please do feel free to contact us anytime. I'll just show you one last little trick that the car does, which is really cool. Looking at the centre dash, when you put your centre vents on, your little centre vents come up as well. Just a nice little touch. Turn them off, and down it will go again. And there it goes. So, as I said, loads of information up on the website. If there's any information you'd like on the car, please do contact us at any time.